Hi, I'm Roland at treestuff.com. Today I want to remove an outboard clutch for the inspection of the chain drive sprocket. This is more difficult than an inboard clutch which normally has a snap ring to take the sprocket off. This outboard clutch is on the outside of the sprocket and has to be removed before you can get to the drum. So we'll start by removing the spark plug. After the spark plug is removed, you will want to choose a piece of rope, a little bit bigger than a recoil rope, but something that is that will fit through the spark plug hole to use as a piston stop. Feed it through the spark plug hole until you feel that you've got a, um, an inch or two of rope in there and then pull the rope and you'll find that it has stopped the piston. Using a 13 millimeter socket on the clutch that already has a nut built into it and you're going to remember that the clutch has left hand threads so we're going to turn it to the right or clockwise to loosen and you have to have a, a good grip on the saw and on your wrench and as you push down the clutch will become loose and there is the drum and here is the bearing. Some inspection to be done at this point. You want to First of all, look at the springs and possibly the spring ends, the holes where the springs go in place. Many times when they're worn, you will find that that area is worn almost more than half in two. I would want to put new springs on this clutch. Uh, you'll want to also inspect the shoe itself where the spring goes can be cut. These appear to be in pretty good shape. So by what you'll find is that the, when, the, when the spring is worn, the saw will want to, at idle, the chain will want to creep. On the drum, we want to look at these grooves that are caused by the chain wear. And that groove right there is wearing and officially this sprocket should be replaced. What will happen uh, if this sprocket is continued to be used, this groove will become much deeper. Uh, it may in fact cut completely through the tooth and it will damage the chain tie strap and preset, and also the drive lug. So uh, at the same time, you may want to inspect your chain to make sure that it's not worn. Another item is the bearing. You want to inspect the bearing. Uh, sometimes you'll have a bearing that starts to come apart. Uh, it may be burnt. It may, uh, the, the cage itself is plastic, so it may melt and the bearings fall out. And then as you are, uh, after you've inspected it and you reinstall, you want to put some grease on that. Uh, some type of a lithium grease. And that will help lubricate that when the saw is idling. That is how to remove an outboard clutch and inspect the components. All of these components and parts are available at treestuff.com.